Dennis, thanks very much for taking part in the uh, 60 second interview series for Global Sports Jobs. Please explain who you are and what you do. Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Dennis Hatcher. I'm a Director of Sports Science at the uh, Aspire Academy of Sports Excellence in Doha in, in the uh, state of Qatar. Uh, been there for two years. Um, from there I, uh, I came there from the Australian Institute of Sport in Canberra where I was there for eight years. My background is fairly varied and uh, to get into the industry it is a very varied background that most people have. Um, I've, uh, you know, I started off uh, competing internationally, you know, moderately successfully in, in, in rowing, um, PhD, Bachelor of Education, uh, Physical Education, Bachelor of uh, uh, Science with honours, um, postdoc postdoctoral uh, research for three years, um, set up two consultancy companies, um, one was bought out by the largest reinsurer in the world and the other one uh, walked away from, um, with, with the consent of uh, my partners, uh, to set up uh, an institute of sport in, in Australia, in Darwin, which I, I did initially. So my background is, is, is a mixture of uh, academia, hands-on sporting experience, um, a passion and a commitment for high performance and, and, a, and a real focus on, on trying to determine what the elements of, of a successful high performance program uh, has been. Um, you know, I was a national selector for rowing for six years and took it into its most successful period in Australia. Um, and that, that, that's part of where I learned the, uh, how to really focus and work with coaches and work with athletes and work with a whole variety of stakeholders. Even though my business background uh, uh, showed me how to do that, um, my uh, time as a selector, when you have to tell uh, athletes who've worked, you know, in some cases, six to eight years, that they're going to miss out on Olympic Games, you, you learn how, how, how to deal and, and, and work with people. And uh, I think that was a very uh, telling lesson. Um, the Australian Institute of Sport, best institute in the world bar none. Um, reputation is about sports science, sports medicine and research. Been there, been going a long time before I got there. All I did was able to top and tail it, as it were, to, to make it a bit better. And, and that was an exceptional experience working with some of the best people in, in the world. But like, like all things in life, you know, everyone has their own shelf life and time to move on. And uh, I was approached to come to uh, Qatar and to uh, work, work with the Aspire Academy, which has been running for about, uh, about six or seven years, depending on how you measure it. And, and it's had a fairly uh, rapid rise in, in development, but at the same time, because of that, I think uh, a lot of the development has been missed out. And so my role there is basically to put a lot of um, uh, core, uh, core business and, and policy and procedure and uh, operational issues in place to uh, meet meet the uh, uh, the expectations of uh, of the people in Qatar, which are, are very numerous. Mm -hmm. Dennis, that's very kind. Just what, what advice would you give to people looking to excel in your area of uh, expertise in the sports industry? That, that, that's, a, uh, that's a very difficult question, Will, because it, it, is, it is really so varied. Uh, I mean, my, mine comes from a mixture of backgrounds. Uh, some people have come from a coaching background. Some people have come from a more business management background. But the thing, the thing that is really common is, is the focus on excellence and focus on high performance and being able to work with a diverse group of stakeholders, whether they be athletes, coaches, managers, bureaucrats, politicians or whatever. And, and the, the other thing is you've got to go into this industry not expecting to make a lot of money. I'm not saying that you don't make money, but you have to go into the industry to, to reap the rewards of working with the best people in the world in terms of sporting and athletes and coaches and, and administrators and, and, and doors open up. And so the, the advice is you've got, you've got to really determine that's what you want to do. Um, in today's uh, work environment, a lot of people want to know what they're going to get paid, and we all want, want to get paid a reasonable amount of money, there's no doubt about that. But, but in this industry, the, the rewards you reap from the people you work with far exceed whatever you get paid. Dennis, thank you very much for your advice, uh, and best of luck. Okay, thank you.